Hello and welcome to another episode of Hold On Hungry Girls! Today, as you can see, we're in the beautiful Bruni Islands. This island is home to Tasmania's most beautifully preserved environment and amazing cliff views and not to mention its epic and organic food. Now, it's Tasmania's fourth largest island, but really it's just two islands connected by a narrow isthmus. Okay, and to get down here, all you have to do is go down to Kettering mm -hmm. and take the Mirambina Ferry from Roberts Point to North Bruni Island. It only takes 20 minutes. It does. Today, we are tasting all the locally produced cheese, oyster, and chocolates. Are you ready? I'm ready. Shall we? We shall. Let's, Let's go. go. Hi, welcome to Get Shucked here on Bruni Island. Because the area around Great Bay is mostly dry sheep pasture with very little residential housing or no river system entering the bay, the water being filtered by our oysters is pristine whilst providing them rich nutrients to feed on. This is what gives them their large size and their delicious full-bodied sweet taste. Cheese Company. The Bruni Island Cheese Company was founded by Nick Hedo in 2003 after he spent 10 years working with the cheesemakers all over the world. The company also owns the farm where the milk is sourced, located in Glen Hewen. It's a small scale, sustainable farm, and we have three rare breeds of cows. We've got the Brown Swiss, Australian Dairy Shorthorn, and the Normandy. Today we have the raw milk C2, which is the first raw milk cheese made in Australia. We've actually received a gold mm. award for it. Classic hard cheese. It is matured six to 12 months in our maturing room, and it's a lovely cheese. It almost tastes like churpi to all my Nepalese out there. The outer shell is really hard. It's almost like churpi. So churpi is like a mm. hard cheese, like real classic mm. hard cheese. Okay. I would love for you to try that someday. Look at that, baby, like literally. The second cheese today on the platter is Saint. It's a white molded cheese and it's got a mushroomy flavor and a very creamy center. This Saint cheese reminds me very strongly of um, a double double cream brie. It almost tastes like it's melted, but it's not melted. No. Do you know what I mean? Because it's so soft. soft. And creamy, isn't yeah. It? The thing that I love about this place and in general places in Bruni is that we're eating the bread that was made literally over there. We're eating the cheese that was literally made here. The beer was brewed behind the venue. Mm. So like you can really taste like the freshness mm -hmm. um, with the flavor being so rich and not spoiled by the um, transit time. Yeah, that's true. You know? Mm -hmm. So it feels like as rich as the cheese is, it's like very clean taste. Mm -hmm. Do you know what exactly. I mean? Pure, like local. Pure. Yeah. I, as I say, a pure, clean taste, I have a bug in my drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's just flown in there. Babes, this is my drink, not yours. The third cheese on the platter today is Odeo. This cheese is formed in one day and it stopped the process by maturing it into oil with herbs and spices. It's like a combination of cottage cheese and Persian feta yeah. to me. So we have one that's like literally hard cheese, one's mm. really soft and white mm. gooey cheese. Mm. And this one you can see it's flaky, it's falling apart. It's kind of like, mm. it's just literally really good. It's mm. different and fresh.
Well, my dude, after all of that cheese, mm -hmm. I really feel like something sweet. How about you? Me too. Let's go to the chocolate company. Well, that is it for today's video. We've tried so much of the local produce. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and if you like it, please subscribe. We're gonna come with another exciting video next week. Alrighty. That's it. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us. It is filled with a filled with <laughs> filled with. <laughs> that's that's not helping a lot, Tian. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at those milky titties.